Hi, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, my name's Lee. I run this channel with my son, Ollie. We're based here in Shenzhen, China, where we are for the moment. We're soon to be leaving China. Um, we cover many different subjects on the channel, including travel, technology, politics, uh, opinion. So there's something literally for all different types of viewers. But today I want to talk specifically about a suicide attack that happened in Pakistan that killed three Chinese citizens. So this attack happened in Baluchistan, which is the largest province in Pakistan. It borders Iran and Afghanistan, and it also has a large coastline. It has about 12 million people and is approximately the size of Germany and is one of the poorest provinces in Pakistan. Baluchistan also plays a major role in CPEC, which is the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. Now, what is the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor? Okay, what it is, it's a network of road and rail that stretch from mainland China to the port of Gwadar in Baluchistan. And this project is part of China's BRI, the Belt and Road Initiative. And this will bring a lot of uh, prosperity and trade, not only to Pakistan and to Baluchistan, but also surrounding um, countries like Iran and Afghanistan. And it also gives China a second seaport other than that going across the South China Sea. So now you know where Baluchistan is and you know what CPEC is. Let's talk about what actually happened. Now, just to give you a bit of background, Baluchistan has had problems with uh, separatism uh, for many, many years. But more recently, this separatism has turned more into terrorism with people being killed and this is one instance here on the 26th of april this year 2022 the uh, Balok liberation army they sent a female suicide bomber onto a bus which was carrying teachers from the chinese confucius institute and that bomb on the bus was detonated killing not only the driver but also the three Chinese teachers and if any of you don't know what the Confucius Institute is it's basically a uh, an NGO that is set up by China and the host country to promote the Chinese language the Chinese culture to encourage education about China so people in those countries can learn more about Chinese culture and Chinese society. They also might um, arrange exchanges for, for the students to, to come to China and Chinese people to go to those host countries. The organization that were behind this suicide attack, this is not the first time they have carried out this type of attack. In 2018, they were responsible for an attack on a bus which killed Chinese engineers working on the Chinese-Pakistan economic corridor. They also attacked the Pearl Continental Hotel in Gwadar port, almost killing a Chinese ambassador. It was just lucky at the time he was out of the hotel. And we can see that this is a pattern of attacks against Chinese in Baluchistan. Now, why is this? Well, the reason this is happening is because that these separatist groups are backed, funded and resourced by the US National Endowment for Democracy. And the reason they are doing this is to disrupt China's BRI. It's very well known that America are uh, nervous about losing their hegemony to China. Um, it's inevitable China's economy will be larger than that of the US. And instead of competing fairly and squarely with China, USA are using all sorts of dirty tricks to try and stop 
China's rise. And this is just one of them. These separatists are no different to ISIS or Al Qaeda, which the US have backed in other parts of the world. And if we go on to the National Endowment for Democracy's website, now what you've got to bear in mind, the National Endowment for Democracy, it's been openly said by people in the US that they are carrying out openly what a number of years ago the CIA used to do covertly. And basically what that is, it's interfering in other countries' political matters. Um, you know, the, the, it's called the National Endowment for Democracy, but it's nothing to do with democracy at all. What the NED does, it funds groups to interfere uh, with other countries' political systems, to try and overthrow governments or to try and get separatists involved to create um, states and leaders that are pawns to the US. And once they become pawns to the US, the US can control what goes on in those areas. And that's exactly what they're trying to do with this situation in Baluchistan. And you don't just have to believe me about this. If you want proof of this, you only have to look at an article in the National Interest from February 2011. And the title of this article is Free Baluchistan. And it has a tagline, to counter Islamism in nuclear Pakistan, the United States should do more to support Baluch insurgents. However, the, the most telling part is right at the bottom of the article. And what that says, it says, Pakistan has given China a base at Gwadar in the heart of Baluch territory. So an independent Baluchistan would serve US strategic interests in addition to the immediate goal of countering Islamic forces. But the countering Islamic forces is just a red herring. The ultimate goal here is for um, the US to try and stir up trouble in Baluchistan to stop the, um, the Belt and Road and, and the CPEC project um, which China are building together with the Pakistani government because that goes against US interests. So the US pretending to care about uh, the people of Baluchistan is just absolute nonsense. They don't care at all about the people of Baluchistan. What they care about is their own geopolitical interests and stopping China's rise. Now I hope you found this uh, video interesting. Um, I will link to articles I've referenced in it down below. And I'd love to know what you think down in the comments below, so please leave comments below. But as always, for now, take care.